Lake Michigan's one of the largest bodies of fresh water in the world. People have built their homes around it for the breathtaking views. Its beaches attract thousands of people all year long. Entire towns depend on tourists to keep them going. I live and die with the tourists. Right now, the tallest thing out there is an occasional lighthouse, but that could change. Scandia Wind, a division of a Norwegian company called Havgal Energy, has plans to develop a large wind farm in the water. Oh man, this is, from a technical point of view, it is the perfect spot. While they're one-of-a-kind views, the developer says it also has one-of-a-kind conditions to produce green energy. The idea has divided communities up and down the coast. They're in it for the money. You know, they're not in it for the good of our, our area. I want it to be here rather than someplace else. The developer originally had plans to build 100 turbines all off the coast of Pentwater. But after receiving a lot of resistance, the developer changed his plan, splitting the project in half. He now wants to build 50 off the coast of Pentwater and 50 off the coast of Grand Haven, getting the idea to separate the project. From Eric Justian, a guy from Muskegon who started a Facebook page in support of bringing the project south. That page got more than 3,000 fans in a matter of days. It started off as a joke, and, and uh, the more people who came on, the more we were like, hey, there's something to this. As you can see, it gets pretty windy out here on the Big Lake. That's why the developers want to put the turbines about where I am right now, four miles off the coast of Pentwater. Here's the view from the water to the shoreline. In Grand Haven, they would be even two miles farther out due to the depth of the water. And these aren't small turbines. They're very large, about the size of Riverhouse condominiums, the tallest building in downtown Grand Rapids. And that does not include the large propellers on top or the structure that's beneath the surface. They're so big that each turbine is expected to produce enough electricity to power close to 300 homes for an entire year. And that's just one turbine. They're massive. Here's a close-up view of what the developer says the project could look like from the shoreline. Under the water, they'd be connected to a large cylinder-shaped base that would be filled with water to keep them anchored. The turbines in Grand Haven would be connected by a cable that would be installed four feet under the lake bed to the BC Cobb plant in Muskegon. And in Pentwater, they would be connected to the Lunnington pump storage facility. It's going to spoil our serenity. It's the project's massive size and the fact that it's never been done in the U.S. before that has a lot of people scared along the lakeshore. That's a true, you know, gift from Mother Nature. And to go out and play with it and experiment with it, uh, it doesn't make any sense. Many homeowners worry at a lower property values. Those who own properties won't want them. Those who are looking for properties won't buy them. Store owners worry it could kill tourism. They don't come here to go look at power plants. People don't go on vacation to look at power plants. And fishermen worry what it will do to wildlife. It's just a hazard to navigate around. You know, we don't know what's going to happen with the vibration. I mean, it could scare our fish away. The effects of the turbines haven't been studied yet. The developer says he's asking county leaders if they could handle the visual impact first. It's very hard to argue that it's pretty. It's very hard to argue that it's ugly. If county leaders say they can handle the look of these, then the developer will spend about $7 million to study the effects on wildlife and tourism. He wants an answer by September 1st. It's a little scary at first, but I think if they find out that it's not environmentally destructive, it would be okay. Many people like the possibility of green energy and believe it could be a tourist attraction. But most people want to know. What's the big hurry? You know, I'm not against wind energy, but I am against anything that they don't do a lot of research and try to make it so it doesn't hurt our environment out there.